understand and learn syntax, etymology, and numerology. The definition of ology is, the study of, so study it yourself. Don't rely on your technology. Here's your first syntax lesson of non-education. Many years ago a gentleman, named Paul, took a midnight ride to give the Americans his revere in Massachusetts. His last name was the revere he gave all right. What was it that he revered on horseback across the state? The British are coming. The British are coming. Although, nobody seemed to take heed to his revered warning. They are and have been here for hundreds, upon hundreds of years, dear. Controlling all the nations of civilizations through government, tell lie vision. A.K.A. tell a lie to your vision, law, education, cult you are, culture. Etc. For the last 25 plus years through AI, artificial intelligence, a.k.a. computers, telephonies, iphonies, etc. This has been occurring on a global scale in order for the ish to continue getting their just us, under their bar, British Accreditation Registry, Association of Professionals, a.k.a. pros at fessing all shuns. The Bar Association creates, implements, and oversees all of our legislative and judicial laws, which entirely annihilate our country's amendments. This makes us not the land of the free or home of the brave. Rather home of the enslaved and held under Marshall's law, aka Lex Fori law. This means we have been held under the old world order and is in no way new. The police and deputies actually are professionals, which are pros at fessing all shuns. There's a big difference between being a professional and being experienced. So now think about this, the definition of the adjective ish is, kind of kind of not. Now, think about that from a bigger perception. Do Americans really speak English? Are Americans actually English men and women or are they American men and women? Have you ever gone to Europe where they speak authentic English? English men and women believe that American English is broken English because it isn't English. It's Adam. I suggest learning etymology, which is the study of the true English language. Ology is the study of. Adam is the American language. Give up utilizing Webster's book of dictationaries. Who needs Webster's dictations or translations of definitions of words spoken in our first language, if you're American? I highly recommend you being studying the book of etymology, and this is just the beginning. Perhaps you're from Mexico, okay. What about your language Spanish? Are Mexican Spaniard men and women or are they Mexican? Over in Great Britain, they refer themselves as Brits, not British. Just as over in Europe and Israel the true Jews refer each other as Jews, not Jewish. Here in America though, they are kind of and kind of not Jews and Brits, because they live in America and are Americans. The majority of the Ish have their American citizenship. Many have been claiming they are Jewish and British, all the while receiving compensation benefits from past controlled and set-up events, which occurred in history. Of course at the American taxpayer expense. Imagine you've heard the Holocaust was controlled by the corrupt British that were actually corrupt Americans, claiming to be kind of, kind of not Brits and Jews. They were all just ish. Shit adjectives. It is no different than me, who was born and raised in Washington state, to begin claiming to be Canadish, when I'm truly American. Or how about if I claim I'm Europeanish, Australianish, Africanish, or Italianish? What do you think fits me best?